OK, here we're just going to do a couple questions, a couple practice questions that uh, involve identifying ions and um, give you an idea of the kind of logic you'll need to use, the kind of questions that might throw you in the HSC. Uh, so this one is, an unknown white salt is believed to be either sodium phosphate or sodium chloride. Describe a test that positively identify the salt, use equations in your response. Right. So. Uh, got to look. At, first of all, I mean, first thing here in the HSC um, is you've got to recognise that this is an ions test kind of question. Uh, if it's asking you to positively identify it, uh, that's a good indicator. Um, you may remember that phosphate and chloride are on the list of the ions you'll need to know. That's the other indicator. Uh, right. So how do we go about it? Well. Uh, you will need to just, you'll need to remember this uh, particular bit of your chart uh, over here on your anions test. Obviously, you're not going to have the, uh, the chart in the exam, unfortunately, but there is a bit of the chart uh, that deals with, uh, deals with this exact uh, thing. Uh, we're looking at whether it's sodium phosphate. We're looking at whether it's sodium phosphate, which is down here, down here, or whether it's sodium chloride, which is over here. And if we track it back, uh, there's a single test to figure that out, and uh, that's with silver nitrate. So if you did remember that, uh, you'd know how to go about it. The only trick uh, to this one is, uh, and you've got to remember this, uh, is that they've told you it's just an unknown white salt. Uh, so the only trick is to remember that uh, you'll need to dissolve the salt first in water uh, before you add silver nitrate. So uh, first step, dissolve it in water, then add silver nitrate. Now they want equations in the response, so you should pretty much, uh, the first step is to write out uh, the ions with their charges, and then after that, uh, you can uh, you can balance it out. All right, so we're gonna have in the first case we're gonna have sodium phosphate, so that's Na. Uh, this is gonna be aqueous and phosphate or aqueous. Also going to have silver G and nitrate. Uh, now you just want to whack the the charges on them. So Na is plus, PO4 is minus three. Ah, not my this is Ag is minus and at three. Right, so they're they're all uh, going uh, floating around, and then they go to uh, in this case sodium and nitrate stay in solution, and we're going to get silver. Um, phosphate. It's going to be Ag3, PO4, uh, plus nitrate N2 to get 3, uh, 3 silvers. We're going to have to go 3 of these. And then need equal amounts at the end, so that means oh, I don't know. It does mean three and eight means three nitrates. So that was messy, but that's the uh, the method. Don't forget to whack a solid on the precipitates, aqueous on the others. Uh, 
uh, now it's a similar thing once again for uh, similar thing once again for chloride uh, except we don't have phosphate here we got sodium chloride Uh, so you just write it out again. Uh, it's actually a lot simpler because it's um, it's a lot simpler because it's just got a um, charge of one negative. So that means it's all one, which is the best situation, <laughs> the best, the easiest. Anyway. Uh, and once again, we know that silver. Chloride is solid, it's a precipitate, uh, and then we keep the others aqueous. Uh, so that's uh, that's how it's done. Uh, that's the equations, and so you write out both of those equations, and then point out that silver chloride is a white solid. And the phosphate is yellow solid, and that's your answer. Uh, great. All right, this one's a bit more involved, a bit trickier. An insoluble white solid is dissolved in nitric acid. Uh, so they mean when they say insoluble, they mean insoluble in water. Uh, obviously, they did successfully dissolve it in nitric acid. An odorless gas is evolved, and a colorless solution forms. Some of the gas is passed into a test tube containing universal indicator. The indicator turned pink. The colorless solution was divided into three test tubes and tested with three reagents. Sodium iodide, bright yellow precipitate, sulfuric acid, thick white precipitate, sodium chloride, faint white precipitate, and salts when heated. So the colorless solutions had three different tests with three different results. Uh, and, yeah, sorry, the end of this question is they obviously want to know what the insoluble white solid was uh, at the beginning. So uh, in this one, uh, it's a white solid, and they want to know what it was. So we need to actually figure out both components. It's a, it's an anion and cation uh, question. That's quite a good one. Uh, it's it's a clever question because it's the kind of one they could well ask in the HSC because it manages to test. Uh, both parts of the topic in one question, uh, which is clever. Uh, but uh, it's also very easy, uh, especially for the anion, because uh, you'll remember uh, that if you see a gas evolved, uh, that's uh, a sign of carbonate. And if the gas is passed into a test tube, it turns it pink. I mean, you can't, can't be more obvious that it's carbon dioxide there. I mean, uh, from the gas, if you remember this uh, in the exam, I mean, you're going to know straight away that it's a carbonate ion uh, involved. Uh, but the, the CO2 being the gas, it's, I mean, they're just making it doubly obvious. So we already know that it's a carbonate, so CO3. And now we just need the cation uh, and figure out what it is. Now, uh, I'm glad this question came up because it shows a, a pitfall in, in only ever looking at the color. What they've done here uh, with our, obviously, the color solution and the three tests, these are going to be to find the cation now. I mean, they've given us the anion pretty much straight up. Now, uh, if you just remembered what I said about the colors and, and didn't think about it anymore, you go, oh, yellow precipitate, phosphate. Well, that's not going to work, obviously. Uh, there's two reasons for that. One is that uh, we're looking for a cation now. We already know what our anion is. Uh, we've got that. Uh, it's carbonate. But, uh, and so phosphate is not going to help us. It's not phosphate carbonate. That doesn't work. We need a cation to go with our anion. Uh, so hopefully that would trip you up if you tried to go the wrong way on that. Uh, but also, uh, this is an unusual test. It's not a test that's on our chart. Uh, so this is the, the way they're trying to trick us up on this. They've got some quite unusual tests. Um, sodium iodide, sulfuric acid, and sodium chloride. So they haven't used uh, hydrochloric acid, for instance. Uh, and they've used sulfuric acid, but 
they haven't used sulfuric acid on it after um, adding sodium hydroxide, which would um, which would confirm that you don't have any iron or or, uh, or copper in there. So also they haven't used sulfuric acid after using hydrochloric acid to get rid of lead. Uh, but there is one thing that stands out as a gimme here, which is the dissolves when heated, which I mentioned before. Uh, that happens with lead chloride. That should jump into your head. Uh, and sure enough, you see that there's chloride here. So it's like, all right, well, they haven't, they haven't added HCl, which is our standard test, but they have added NaCl. And sure enough, they've gotten the result we would expect with HCl, uh, uh, which is a white precipitate. And so, I mean, if you think about it, that's got to be lead chloride uh, because it's basically the same test as the first test over here in the cations test. Uh, so, in that, uh, our first test is adding hydrochloric acid, HCl. We get a white precipitate, and that shows that there's lead. And the kind of confirming factor, or maybe it's the thing that gets you under it to begin with, uh, maybe the chemistry is the uh, the bit that confirms it for you. But um, anyway, the second thing that shows us that we're right is that it dissolves when heated. Uh, so, I mean, if you know all of the details of all the different solubility tests, these two are useful too. But this last one here is a complete gimme uh, because of the white precipitate that dissolves and the fact that it's chloride. You know that that's lead chloride when you add sodium chloride, which means that lead must be there originally, uh, which gives us an original substance of lead carbonate, and that's our answer. Right, I'll just quickly uh, state as well that that's obviously PbCl2. Uh, Pb is a charge of 2 plus, Cl is a charge of minus 1. So get that, PbCl2. And up here, of course, I'm erroneously, this is negative one, this is plus one. I've treated it that way for the rest of the question, just in case I uh, don't want you to go away from this video thinking that silver is uh, negative ion, plus it's a positive ion. 